First, let me say thank you for everyone for coming out this evening to our parents, uh, students, um, also outside family members. Thank you so much for coming today. Also, I'd like to recognize um, my supervisor, Dr. Briscoe, Hello. from area office. Dr. Payne, she's from the CPA office, along with Dr. Gibbs, also part of the CPA office. So thank you for joining us this afternoon. Do we have uh, any other distinguished guests? I know I saw um, Dr. Boozer here, our school board member. Yeah, doctor. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ms. Boozer here. Anyone else? Any distinguished guests here this afternoon? I'd like to recognize you for coming out. Okay. Um, I'm going to be uh, from my prepared statement. So first, let me say um, the Department of Creative and Forming Arts encourages teachers in each discipline to provide students with the very best instructional materials possible in an atmosphere of freedom and creativity. Theater instructional materials should be deemed appropriate by professional judgment and made with consideration for the development level of the performance as well as students and audience members to be exposed to them. Music Theater International, which you know, uh, abbreviation MTI, is one of the world's leading theatrical licensing agencies. MTI is particularly dedicated to education and theater and has created special collections to meet the needs of various types of performers and audiences. MTI's Broadway junior shows are 30 and 60 minute musicals for performance by elementary and middle school age performers, while MTI's school editions are musicals annotated for performance by high school students. The 25th annual Putnam Spelling Bee is not one of MTI's Broadway junior shows. It is listed with high school hits, college collections, and community theater. Based on this information, it is recommended that this production not be presented by high school middle school. The Department of Creative and Performing Arts will establish guidelines to be applied going forward when selecting appropriate instruction materials for theater productions. Productions. A comprehensive plan will be prepared and sent to the Chief of Academics for review and approval. The approved plan will be ready for implementation by the start of the 2019-2020 school year. And I stress, in accordance with Administrative Procedure 417, Prince George County Public Schools, discrimination and harassment, federal, state, and county laws prohibit discrimination on the basis of race, color, sex, age, national origin, religion, mar mar marital status, sexual orientation, or disability in any educational program that receives federal financial assistance. It is the policy of Prince George County Public Schools to maintain learning and working environments for students, employees, and volunteers that is free from discrimination and harassment. Members of the school committee are expected to treat each other with mutual respect and to acknowledge the rich diversity which makes, which makes up our school community. Disrespect among members of the school community is unacceptable, which threatens to disrupt the learning environment and decrease the self-esteem. Harassment is a form of unlawful discrimination as well as disrespectful behavior which would not be tolerated. In conversations with Ms. G, as the principal, uh, Ms. G expressed her goals to me concerning the play. Uh, her thing, for her in our discussions, we discussed one. She shared with me she wanted a play where it had themes of acceptance, loving yourself, and understanding to be a part of the themes for this year's musical. She also shared with me when we received the rights and saw when she received the copyrights for the play and saw it was for high school and community community theater audiences, she believes she can tell the, the musical to become appropriate for our middle school and our audiences of our feeder school, the middle school community and surrounding high school community. When asked these questions, MTI said we could not make appropriate changes needed and we would be in violation of copyrights if we did so. Again, at this time, I would like to end this um, my letter, I want to address the rumors surrounding the cancellation of the music, musical. The cancellation of the musical is not an issue of bullying, 
LGBTQ content, profanity, religious rights, or progressive complaint. It was on a collective effort from the Airy office, our Prairie Performing Office, and school administration that one, again, the play was not appropriate for middle school students. Again, the making the trend, making the changes in the play would have violated the copyright laws of the play. And again, and as a follow-up, which we will discuss later, which I'll share with you later, we will put measures in place for the approval of all plays in the future and have a list of age-appropriate plays for middle school students, for middle school students and elementary for school personnel to choose from. Most importantly, we want our students to display their talents not only for their peers, but family members and also to their elementary feeder schools. As the instructional leader of the school, I take full responsibility for not previewing the play in its entirety prior to the start of rehearsal. As soon as it was brought to my attention, a meeting was held um, Monday, April 8th, to discuss the age appropriateness of the play. Recognizing the amount of time and honor our students' talent and hard work, we have scheduled a new date of June 12th, where we will host the Heisman Middle School Theater Extravaganza here in the New Auditorium at 7 o'clock p.m. The show will consist of excerpts from, from previous plays and musicals, which are Into the Woods, Fame, Mary Poppins, Annie, Once on this Island, Romeo and Juliet, A Winter's Tale, Once on this Island, and we have several choreographed numbers, such as far as Singing in the Rain, Hard Knock Life, This is the Greatest Show, and a segment, a segment from Fame. So at this time, we're, uh, my statement are concluded. We have any questions? Yes. Um, your statement is speaking as if.